Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Badly. My name is Joe and I am one of your two hosts today. Let me bring on Kevin. How are you doing today, Kevin? Very well, thank you. How are you? Get in there. My coffee's gone. Well, hey, yes, coffee's gone. And, and, and so is my whatever it was. We're good. We're in good health. Perfect. Hopefully welcome I haven't to just the... jinxed it. <laughs> and I, apparently I have jinxed it. I just coughed. Welcome to the first <laughs> healthy episode of Coding Badly. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to Battlesnake.tv. This is a Twitch stream where we talk about Battlesnake, a competitive programming game where you write the AI for a little snake that doodles around and fights some people. You can see a game of it going on in the background there. There you go, some Battlesnake. Uh, and this show in particular, Coding Badly, is where we do uh, whatever we can to make Battlesnake very silly. Uh, we make fun, weird versions of snakes, we do silly projects, and the silly project we currently have going is the Battle Snake Relay, of which this is episode 3. So to tell you a little bit about the Battle Snake Relay, let me bring up my screen. There we go. So, the Battle Snake Relay is taking place throughout Spring League, over actually all the way to the end of the Spring League. If you have not already, you can still register for the Spring League. The Spring League is the first competitive Battle Snake League of the season. It's bringing in a new game mode, Wrapped, where snakes can go through walls. Uh, there's amazing prizes, highly recommend you check it out. We'll bring up the website and show it off further into the stream. And we are running this relay from Feb 3rd all the way through to the 19th of May. So actually, more or less two, two months past the end of the Spring League into summer. Um, and we, as I said, we're on show free. Um, you can go see the entire history of the project thus far at github.com forward slash Joe Nash. At your own slash... peril. Am I? Yeah, yeah, at your own peril. Um, at Coding Badly Relay. Um, in the readme, you will find the schedule of shows as well as the commits for all of the final commits for each guest. How this relay works is that each week a guest joins us to work on the source code of one shared snake. So we have one snake that over the course of eight shows, eight different Battlesnake developers will contribute to. Um, and each week, each developer picks up where the last one left off and then contributes into that shared code base for the next developer to pick up. Uh, we kicked off with Coriar, um, who added some Go Wasm to our JavaScript snake. Then we had Mason Egger and Matt IPv4 unexpectedly joining us uh, from DigitalOcean. This week, we have Gary, who we will bring on very soon. Uh, Gary Hawking over from Twilio. Um, and then in two weeks' time, we will have Naomi, and then we will have Penelope. And then we still have question marks here, even though we know who some of these people are. Um, that second from last bubble is patchy code some new relic and we still have some slots to fill we're kind of um i i'm not being in a rush to fill the last slot um kevin and i have discussed these options a couple of times um because there's uh we want to see what's happening with the snake before we book the final yeah, the final yeah. couple of slots we need to and you know drive a little bit by need yeah. yeah we have to do it otherwise it will fall on our shoulders and we definitely don't want that we definitely don't want that. Um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so let's kick over to our guest for the day. Please welcome Gary Hawkins to the stage. Hello, Gary. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, Joe. Sure. I'm good, Kevin. How are you doing? We are surviving. For those who don't know you, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. Um, my name is Gary. I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio, which means my job is... Um, I don't know what my job is. Any guesses? I have no idea. Um, doing things like this, I guess, playing Battlesnake and um, hanging out at events and generally yeah. just uh, trying to be as involved with the developer community as I can um, for all things Twilio or otherwise, really. I love it. And like, I totally thought this stream was going to be like playing Elden Ring, but apparently it's not. Now I have to actually yep. do some coding again. Thanks, Joel, for that. Yeah. This this is like the longest I've gone without playing Elden Ring, probably for a week, and I'm oh, feeling a bit itchy, but we will make it through. Um, if you're playing Elden Ring in the chat, let us know how, how you're doing on that game. I have probably died thousands of times at this point. How, how about you? Guys? It's just really unforgiving. I, I, I don't really know much about it. You said it's kind of like Breath of the Wild, but difficult. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah it's it's open world dark souls um but like the open world part is very breath in the wild in that you can just kind of wander about and there's not really like quest markers and this kind of stuff and then it's like oh you you saw a goblin and uh you mistimed your attack and now you're dead that's just how that works is um, it is it forgiving when you die like uh, i mean you go back to your last checkpoint yeah uh, 
Okay. So you go back to last checkpoint and you leave all the XP that you've earned between levels where you died and you have one attempt to get it. If you don't get it and you die again, that XP goes away. Interesting. It doesn't mess yeah. out. Yeah. You, good you, fun, you enjoy that. Yeah. I, I'm, I don't know if enjoy is the word, but I'm certainly addicted to it. So. It does something for me on like on, on a level. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what it does is enjoyment, but it, it's... <laughs> It's a good time. Anyway, Battlesnake today. Uh, Battlesnake, yes. Yeah. Gary, I want to start by talking a little bit about your Battlesnake journey. The Because um, you, like, the Twilio signed on as a partner, and I think almost before that, you had started playing and then, like, got into it in a big way. Like, tell us something about your snake, how, you, yeah, how you're no. finding it so far. So, um, um, my, the head of developer relations, uh, Devin, announced in our weekly developer relations meeting that we were sponsoring Battlesnake and I I kind of seen tweets and things and retweets from developer friends of mine before but I'd never I'd never really investigated it and so when we were told like yeah you should totally be writing a stream uh writing a, a snake as part of your job I was like okay I'm I'm good with doing that and then I immediately got I think I think the whole thing about Battlesnake is that when you know you start to play around i work in yeah. php a lot and so apis are bread and butter to me everything's really familiar okay i have to respond with json i have to consume json really right. easy and then you start doing some of the challenges like oh don't turn back on yourself and it's fairly simple to to code that in any language and then it's like yeah, oh yeah. don't hit the walls that's fairly straightforward and then all of a sudden you're in a literal world of pain that like oh i need to get food now but i don't want to get food unless my health is too low but now i really right. want to go and get food and it just goes from being really simple to being incredibly complex like, right so quickly that it's sucked me right in you know i'm so enjoying it awesome that's great it's to hear fun. and yeah definitely agree on that on that ramp it gives uh yeah, a nice onboarding journey, but then it really brings you into some like fun algorithms and like intense algorithms very quickly. So, um, you do your snakes in PHP. Um, yes. You are jumping yes. into what was originally a JavaScript snake, but is now yes. a Go snake. Should we throw up your screen? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I, I have some JavaScript experience, not for yes. a long time. Um, okay. So I, I, I'm not completely unfamiliar with JavaScript, but. I haven't coded JavaScript in anger for four years, so probably people will be screaming at me in the chat because I'll be screaming I'm, at you. Don't you worry. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, come bring it on. But um, I'll probably either put too many, like, um, I'll either end the lines with like semicolons or not, or right. everyone's gonna go nuts. But it's all it's good. Fine. Like, it's I, fine. I think we have a slight plan here, right? Today we do. Yeah. So. If you haven't watched the previous two shows, let me do some scene setting where uh, we are in show show three and our snake doesn't have any logic yet. Um, Corey added this amazing facility of the Go rules library compiled to Wasm. It's going to be super useful. Mason and Matt added auto deploys for the snake so that people didn't have to deal with the complicated build pipeline that Corey implemented by adding Go to the project. Um, uh, but our snake doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. So um, today we're going to do some things, hopefully using Corey's library, which is why I'm really yeah. excited to see he's in the chat. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, what, I'd, what I'd love to do is yeah. first, um, I noticed that the the wonderful people from DigitalOcean were on last last uh, last they stream were. and branded the snake. Digital ocean colors. So, firstly, I'd like to change it to Twilio colors if that's okay. Perfect. Right. But we, but keeping the digital ocean head and tail. So it's now. On I, I'm okay with that because you yeah. know digital ocean are a sponsor as well. We can share the love a little here. That's completely <laughs> fine. Um, but I think we can at least they they can't have the color and the head and tail, right? That's a little unfair. Yes. So, yeah. so we'll do that. Um, and I think next, I'm just going to spin up this web server and create a snake on battlesnake.com. And I think that sounds a very good plan. Just because I haven't like I've I've had a really cursory look at this code, but yep. for example, um, I have no idea where we have the I think it was the file I was just in right index. Index, yeah. So where this we is the this line here. I have no idea what this will console.log. Like I'm really interested to see cool. what this 
go next board state elimination cause returns like yes i, I, I also idea. can't so, actually remember so that would be so good. i think that's, that's a good that. way to figure this stuff out right if in doubt yeah console.log and, and read that so i think that's kind of where i'm going to get started here so i guess Perfect. we need to spin up a server um i'm yes. using we're angry rocking today right yeah i'm using php storm to um run to write javascript because it has a full javascript like everything it, it yeah it has a JavaScript ID built in. So. I'm really, I'm really enjoying your dev environment, Gary. I so, haven't seen Opera in a million years. I've never seen PHP Storm. I'm getting a new visual, a visual editor experience here. Today. You know, I only use, I use Opera for one only reason. Sorry, we are definitely going to get distracted today because when the sidebars we, beautiful, we always get distracted. But I, I love the game, the games corner where it's like what? these games are coming out. Look, we've got Elden Ring came out on the 25th, and then. I'm huh. particularly looking forward to uh, this particular one, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Is what Never I heard of that of. either. Um, it's oh, a cool. it's a Borderlands. Um, oh, okay. Yes, I know Tiny Tina the Borderlands character. Yeah. Now you said that I've connected them. It's Borderlands, okay, cool. but Dungeons and Dragons instead of guns and shooting. So anyway, that's enough Ooh. distraction. This is nice. why I use Opera GX. I love it. It's it, huh. it's also really useful. I'm going to go full in here to. You've got the ability to be able to like control how much RAM and and uh, CPU your browser's using, which is That's really cool. useful when you're streaming. Anyway, yes, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, neat. Enough. Awesome. I cannot. Get, I this is not my own stream. I may not get distracted constantly. You are welcome. We've got we've got ninety minutes. That's fine. Also, um, next week is Penelope. So uh, whatever we ruin today, Penelope has promised me in advance that she will fix. So um, <laughs> it's fine. That's good news. So yeah, all I've done is create a configuration that allows me to do npm start from within my IDE rather than physically type in npm start because I, you know, Perfect. who wants to do that? So I can start the web, the web server right from within my IDE, which is great. And then I should be able to visit this right and see. That looks That's right. That's the to info. Me. That does look correct. That is the Twilio right, color. Right? Yeah. So now we need to spin up ngrok which i've done a million times so this should be okay uh, 80, 80 right 80 80 yep unless you i mind. mean i'm i'm not going to be surprised if we get stuck on something completely weird uh, last week we spent 40 minutes on uh yaml indentations so yeah uh, oh, th mean, these things happen that's, normal. that's completely normal <laughs> let's be honest okay so now i should be able to i'm gonna i'm gonna bring up my um my ngrok browser thing where i can see um request and response page which so i had really never actually looked that. at until you, i saw you yeah. doing it on your stream and i was like that is genius oh, that is looks a, so good this yeah just piece of ngrok like you could just replay the the request yeah. without needing to actually like start a new game and stuff this is the best part it's of genius it's absolutely um, genius and then i'm also going to open this to check that i get the same thing which i do okay so we should be able to create the snake now right because i think yes what we were left You've got last time has the three endpoints we need, right? Which is yes. the root endpoint, which just gives the information, start, yep. move. And we we don't move. have an oh, we do have an end as well. Okay, yeah. so we should not that we need it, but yeah, we but so. we should be able to create a snake and actually see some action going on on Endrock now from my cool. Um, so I'm going to clear this and I'm going to create the snake and we're going to see what happens. So. Uh, what are we going to call the snake? Anyone in chat want to give a name to the snake <laughs> while I take a drink? Let that chat delay catch up. Yeah. Right, it looks like we've got a suggestion for want to become famous by followers, primes, and viewers. So I guess we could start with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be a great name. Do it. Um, <laughs> oh, love it. Love I it. mean, if we're going to have, like, spam bots in the chat, then... Your self-promotion is totally allowed. We appreciate you, your good, time. Right? And we're going to go for... And it's a good e show. I can highly recommend. Mm. I've watched many a session mm. of Gary developing um, Battlesnake. Want to become famous is a great name. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to bother to tag anything. Yep, you can I'm not going to yeah. do all that for now. Now, I think this should hit Engrop, right? And do a get request again. It should pass. do, yeah. You and might have to hit the refresh good. button, but it should no. It looks like it's worked. Looks good. Okay, so now we should be able to just try a challenge and see what happens. I have no yeah. idea what's going to happen, by the way. Um, you um, will definitely get a lot of console logging about the 
Okay, the wasm lo the wasm is loaded. This is the big thing we want to see. So Gary, your your pre show prep of getting the wasm going has been successful. Yeah, it turns out I'm a genius at Go. Who, who knew? Who knew? Um, Corey Corey has so made Go developers of us all. So we should be able to do the first challenge here, right? And obviously we we're should. not going to avoid the walls because we have no logic to do that. Yeah. But I'd just like to see what we see in the debug console. I mean, I can't believe we're on show three and only now doing the challenges, but I well, think you know, this is how we I, do this. I, yeah. I'm nothing if not pragmatic. I like yeah. to like, oh. I'm a go-getter. I like to be able to push projects completely forward. So yeah. let's see what happens. What? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> no, look, this is what, this is my dev snake from. <laughs> oh, there we, I was very confused. Which is really weird because I didn't think Gengrok on my web server for my dev snake were running, but apparently Where not. is that so running? It uh, should be running on Gengrok. That's quite... If it does PHP Storm leave other servers that you've had running? No, I don't use it. I don't actually use it for that. Anyway, we should yeah. be able to... Uh, uh, how do you right, choose which snake goes in? I need to reset the challenges for my account, right? Because I've already oh, passed no. the challenges. No, it's fine. It's, it's all good. So I should now be able to pick a battle snake, right? Cool. Perfect. And then... Because it was... I tell you what I was doing that, Joe, because yeah. I'm king of the battle snakes. Yeah. Okay. Is what I was actually doing there was replaying the last time that I successfully completed that challenge. Like, got you. I see. I six see. Weeks I to see. go with that snake. It what yeah. you should. I should have shown you on Angrock. It wouldn't have been actually hit in my. Um, that made, that, well, you that can makes see sense. That, that makes sense. That it wouldn't have been hit in my web server because I'd already done it. So yeah. I'm really interested to know. Okay. So. So we started, and then. Yeah. I know how this is working roughly, right? But I'm yeah. not really interested except for the part where we're console.log in. Yeah. yeah, so I can run through what this console.log output. So um, what is happening there is uh, you're getting the move zero and then right. That is just a console log of what has been given uh, of the current move, sorry. And then where it says right was killed by, that's the console.log from the function that we care about. That's the console.log yeah. from go next board state elimination cause. Um, when it's empty, when it's just blah, 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 was killed by, there is no def cause. Okay. And then when it's full, we're getting the def cause. So that is where we left the oh. snake, which is the snake was using the rules library to check for defs and then never actually actioning yeah. that result. <laughs> So what's happening here, right, is if this, if the return from this weird go proxy function that we're proxying yep. with go and proxy proxy is yep. not an empty string, because right. I know like JavaScript is so, um, you know, powerful with its typing. So yes. if it's not an empty string, then we would die if we made this move. Is that a fair? I believe that statement? is correct. Yes. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at actually what is going on here then. Uh, in... I'm actually just going to check oh. that that console log I was thinking is coming from the Go function. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm sure it is looking at it. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Because you'll see the only time that we got wall collision was the last move when we when we died. Yeah. Every other, uh... every other time it was an empty string, right? Or it, it might not have been an empty string. It could have been a null or whatever. But, um. Uh, Corey said I'm correct. Yeah, it's happening. Oh, no, no, hang on. No, it's it's ha happening in index.js. Okay, that, that console yeah. log is happening in index.js. Yeah, yeah. No bad. And, and I think it's fine. Like, we're not... Okay. We call yeah, it move fine. first, and yeah. move is essentially doing nothing, right? We move in logic. So the first thing... So we're calling this move from logic.js. Correct. We're saying there's an array of possible moves, and they're all yeah. safe, I guess. I guess the true here means that's a safe move. I'm guessing. Yes. So they all they all default to safe, and then the logic after that eliminates them one by one. This stops this stops the battle snake turning back on its own neck, but we don't care about that. So we're gonna delete that. Bye bye. <laughs> because ah! okay, we don't want no, it at the well, moment. We're gonna, so we're gonna change we're it to use the use, rules, right? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna yeah. use the wasm to to yeah. figure out if the move is safe, and we're gonna yeah. we're not even gonna care about. Like what? What we're actually checking? One, oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two, just delete it all. Yeah. Or three. We don't need one, yeah. two, or three because the 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 Go um, rules library is going to yeah. handle all that stuff for us, right? Am I? Yeah. Am I? No, no. You're okay? you're exactly yeah. correct. You're exactly correct. This is the beauty so, of this wasm thing is we yeah. don't care about anything. <laughs> it just deals with it. <laughs> and so now I need to figure out how the hell I can call this 
from so logic.js, not from you should find the import for this at the top. Um, so uh, I guess actually the easiest way to do it would just be to Kevin chip in here. So we hello, uh, in so we are um bringing in the wasm and initializing it all within index. And then we want to call one particular function that's exposed from that. It feels like the easiest way in, in, in logic, it feels like the easiest way will actually just be to re-export that function and then import just that into logic. How I have no idea what you're asking. <laughs> we we want this function, go next board state elimination clause yeah. in logic.js rather than index.js. But the yeah. the all of the go wasm machinery oh. Is initialized in index.js. It's awesome. Um, Corey tells us that no imports, everything is global. So yeah, perfect. Like once again, I'm so thankful that Corey is here. So the, all that means is we will not be able to use logic.js in a context where it's not required in index.js, right? Which in the context of this shambles of a project is completely fine. Um, but in your own projects where you want to make things completely reusable, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Yes. Is that fair? Uh, but, uh, I mean, Corey, Corey, it's not a shambles, and we're very thankful to have you in chat to help. But it, <laughs> yeah, you caused this. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm still passing that last thing that Corey said. That function is added to window from Go. Uh, which I guess is happening in the Wasm exec, but that is quite the place for it to be added. So I'm getting a text. So we're passing in the request our body, which is what we need. In um, so when we move this, I'm just checking if um, we're passing in the request our body. Uh, we also need chose move, which we've got, which gets returned from logic.js anyway. So this should be okay, right? We should just be able to move this. Give it a go. See what mind. happens. Um, I see my you're my trying. Own. Go ahead, Kevin. Exactly. My understanding is that second uh, parameter inside of that uh, function call takes an array and you can pass in any number of snakes. We spoke about it a little bit before we went live. That's correct. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, Gary, um, chat, um, how are we doing on micro volumes? I've had a single report that Gary is a bit quiet. Is that oh, still true? I can, I can well, fix that. I mean, you cool. you it was from a while ago. Okay. Oh, yeah, it sounds good, good to me as well. It was a message yeah. from like 15 minutes ago, so I'll double check before we. Okay, so I mean, what I'm gonna actually do here is say um, I have no idea what this is gonna. Oh, did we die? Right. Volumes are good. Um, yes, exactly. Did we die? Perfect. And we get the game state is re request our body, right? Are we yeah. passing that in? Yes, we are. Okay. So this should be game state. And then this should be game state. Perfect. And then this should be. That's yeah. That was previously to... what was coming out of so, logic.js. Yeah. So, so what we yeah. need to do, right, is to loop over this array, Correct. as I would call it in PHP land object, dict, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I would call it an array. This collection um, of safe moves. Yeah. The, yeah. Collection. I like so. But for the sake of just checking if this works, I'm just going to do up all the time because I just essentially I just want to hit the web server and check that this is working in the global state as it is That's before great. we start actually yeah. doing anything, anything clever because it looks like it should work. So in this instance, we're just not actually going to do anything. You know, we're going to just do a random move yeah. because all of the moves are safe. We're not altering all the, the moves safe are safe. Moves. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but we probably I want to more... console log this. Did we die? And see yeah, console happens. log. Did we die? Yeah. I'm yeah. more interested in seeing. Uh, exactly what happens from did we die? <laughs> I do. Oh, I also do want to take a moment to point out that in Gary's own Battlesnake stream, Gary is uh, very. Uh, he pays a lot of respect to the tests and making sure that all the correct tests are in place. We are very much um, making you fly in a more dangerous fashion than you're used to <laughs> today. That's, that's, Just no, come no, do but, some nonsense. <laughs> but what you don't realize is the only reason I do that is that my chat make me do the tests and make oh, me, good. like, I, I absolutely, um, I absolutely don't. I'm, I'm disappointed to hear my mic sounds a little... Oh, no, everyone, everyone says you sound good. Everyone says you sound good. I think it was, it was a something from, um, near the beginning of the stream. 
Awesome. Um, so I'm just, it, rather than me actually start a new game here, I'm just going to replay one of these moves, right? And see what happens. Because it's uh, genius. It's easier to yeah. do that than it is to like start I a new game. I can't believe I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Yeah. And Br Brad is in chat. In a, in a coding badding episode, probably about 18 months ago now, there was a time when I was grabbing game state Jason in a notepad document and then curling it to repeat the games. And we could have just been doing this the whole time. Yeah, this is the great this is great because I don't have to start a whole new game. I can just replay the the Engrock request from the proxy and yeah, I love that. Yeah. So we Excellent. should see console.log here. Uh okay. I yes. probably should have yeah, I think it was move. It was I don't know if you clicked move eight. It looked fine. Okay, what did I? I've no idea what. I think we removed the console.log from this end, right? Uh, that that console.log is coming from the top of the file. But the kill uh, was killed by should. I found that in a completely different place. Let's just try uh, this again, but with the old age old tactic of pressing enter loads of times. So oh, I see where it is. Okay, screen. cool. Yeah. Um, and then try replaying it, and then go back to our console. Okay, I don't know what console.login where where's this oh do i need to restart uh oh you will need to restart the node I server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course yeah. i do of course oh I um something something you might find valuable is using nodemon which will yeah. automatically restart the server i'm not sure and if I you have it but you can run it straight from mpx uh from I your i have that i do think i have that nodemon but will that then show up yeah. in your PHP thingy. I, I, who knows? Oh, who knows? We, but we cannot use this. This was just me trying to be. Okay. Um, do, did, didn't I change package.json to use that the last time that I did this? Because I like to pretend. Yeah, presum I presumably, if you change your start command to no, if you change your I start command to like, nodemon, do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then that, uh, there's, that a, there's a command for. Do we I need would, to use the command for be, file extensions? I would be uh, not if it's just JS. I would be inclined okay. to create a new a new task called dev and do that because I'm not sure if this is going to now muck around with the um, digitization deploy script. Oh yeah, but I would leave good, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would leave start as it was Node, and then create a new one called yeah, 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 yeah. dev and use Node. I think that's a very sensible suggestion for what it's worth. Look oh, at yes, my first sensible way to suggestion not... in yeah. weeks. Whoa. Going out of our way to not Whoa. break the previous Outside. committed code. Okay. Uh, boop. And then, uh, okay. It's restarting the server every time I edit it, which is a good sign. So now yeah. we should be able to replay this uh, and see the... Okay, so... That's fine. We're That's not... Okay. I think it's an... Is there any way to console.log like the exact... I mean just just console.log some like string in front of it so we know it's at least coming yeah, or, from that. Or, or, or what I normally do is if you're console logging did we die literally put squiggly brackets around did we die and it turns it into an object where the property and key are did we die so the property yeah, I, I mean just just watch what it does I find that a really useful debugging tool because cool. it's now an object mm -hmm. Just helps oh, yeah. you understand. Snake self collision. Okay, so in this instance, we did die because we turned into our, our self, which is also very useful to see. Um, I'm just interested to know what gets returned. Is it like an empty string, string on null? I guess we can just check if it's. Um, I guess we can just check if it's like an empty string. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try this really quickly because this is the way that I'm. Yeah, whatever the way you're happy. Yeah. So this that'll should be, be a true. true or false, right? Yeah. And I don't know what the object type is, so I'm not going to use uh, true. No, <laughs> no, I don't think that is going to do what you want it to. False. Okay. Um, in the chat, we're getting a suggestion to use console.table instead. Let's try that. I love it. Um, I think I think this is correct. This is what can I just say that even though I like to pretend I'm not, this is where I would normally write a unit test to check that if I pass in a known board 
um, I get true or false back, but we we're not, you know, that's fine. If you want to add, Jeff, yeah, this is your show, Gary. This is your your time, oh, your yeah, time you with the baton. You, you can do whatever you want. So we just need an if in here, right? <laughs> yeah. So if if so, this sorry, is not no. equal if, to why not just do if exclamation mark did we die? And then it will look for any truthy or falsy value. If memory serves me right, an empty quote is a falsy value, and is I don't know. How... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. An empty true is falsy. Awesome. Okay. So first of all, we need to loop over this possible moves. Now, I think you'd probably use a map in JavaScript to do that, and I uh, want to affect can... the value. Uh, possibly you can do at a, every um... point of the loop. Ob object dot. Uh, I want to say n entries let me check you can you can also do four uh four in four no four four, four off. In. you can do, yeah can four you? it's four of yeah uh, you don't have to do object of you can just do four a four a four of loop one sec um this is oh, what uh, I get matt, from matt, matt has got it in chat in one thank you very much uh, it's in yeah 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 I was I getting it off mixed up. If if I'd have been if it had any sense, I've got chat codes enabled and we could have just let chat do all the coding and then sat and had a, and just had a nice discussion while they were Why I mean I, I personally am delighted to see that show. Matt hasn't learned from being too useful in the chat last week. The final show could be audience participation. Does yeah. this give us this gives us a key, right? Which will be zero, one, two, three? Or will it be up, down, left, right? The key. It will be. It will be the. It will be the up, down, up. left, right. Yeah. yeah. This is the stuff. See, because I used to work with JavaScript, but you for, you remember the kind of the the syntax and things, but you forget the nuances of it. Like what yeah. what is it going to be returned in? In yeah, uh, in yeah. JavaScript. That's all also, I don't know how long you you did say your JavaScript was a while ago. Four in is like a relatively. I think it's. I think it's ES6. I think 4in is relatively new, so it might not it have been around. It's relatively when... new. Yeah. So does this look good to the wonderful people who are watching and the people in chat? We're going to loop over all of the possible moves and get... I mean, we should call that move rather than key <laughs> because then I know what's going on. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then we say, did we die if we played this move? And if we did die, <laughs> will, will any... Uh, string that is not empty evaluate as truth. Truthy. Any string oh. that is not empty evaluate as true. As true. Uh, yes. 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 Only an empty string is forcey. You know, just to show you the state of my brain tonight, when you put move, colon move, my reaction was, oh, is, are the keys strings? It's JavaScript. Of course, every, everything is, a, is implicitly a string. What am I, what is wrong with me? I think this is as good as we need. Um, I, don't, I don't, don't think dot not dot move um, because that will set a property called move. Do you want to use square brackets around move instead oh, of the dot? Yeah. 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 Which yeah, is exactly how we would do it in PHP land. I just thought I was like, that can't be the same. And so um, we're going to look over every possible uh, move. Hugh says in chat, unless the string is zero or false, it equates to that no. is not any string. Oh, he's <laughs> trolling up. There. Just understood. Look, no future bugs can possibly happen with us, like discounting those cases at this point. No future. This is this is how we always used to get bugs in in code, right? Just thinking, ah, I'll be fine. But I'm going to say. You can make this easier. Just replace const did we die equals with possible move. I can't think I, about that at this moment, Matt. We can, we can streamline means. after I figured out if the code will even work, right? Let's see if the code will work, and then we'll we'll try. So I am guessing oh. we can run the training program again. Not not uh, bang bang to force it to a ball, then directly assign instead of having the temp const. Yeah, uh, I have never seen that before in my life. Readability over cleverness for me, because I'll never remember what the hell that code did if I ever came back to this. So let's 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 see what's happening here. So we shouldn't hit a wall or ourselves now, because the wonderful GoWasm just takes care of all of this for us, right? And um, it looks good to me. I'm genuinely in suspense. Wait, 
actually, th- this this works for every case, right? Because any yeah. death case comes back with a that, string. That, that was why Gary, the first thing Gary did was delete like four comments of to-dos. Because like, it doesn't oh. matter if it's a wall, doesn't matter Damn. if it's a body, doesn't matter if it's another snake, doesn't matter if it's our neck. It just You just use the wasm. Corey, how happy are you right now? Your, your amazing utility, just like, we've got three shows of no logic and then we do three shows worth of logic in one function. Well done, Gary. Yeah, thank you. Um, so it's been nice <laughs> on the stream. Yep. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, that, so that is so cool, by the way, Corey. I know you're in chat. Like, that is so cool that you can just go, well, yeah, I, I'm going to just use How does it die? Yeah. to yeah. figure that out. Um, I love this. Okay, so I guess we can just quickly try the next challenge. because I'm really... actually in awe that that just worked. Yeah. Also, I'm, um, you know, if the bother, the problem now for Gary is that if we've solved all the basic logic, he just has to sit here and implement flood fill from scratch in JavaScript. That's all that's oh, left God, right now. No. <laughs> the stream where you, the stream where I tried to implement flood fill for the first time was something to behold with my snake flag. <laughs> oh my God, it was a disaster. I mean, we need what? to look to find food soon. That's that's okay. We do need to look to find food. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's there's numerous ways we can go from here. Um, like you know, we could probably get pretty far with just um, like doing some fun. You know, optimizing between like, hey, when are we doing food? When are we tail chasing, etc. Um, this is good. We but we can quick cr- quickly click these buttons and knock these because they, oh, it didn't work. Avoid another battle snakes. Uh oh. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it would divide other battle snakes because I thought yeah, the it should be because it's the, would... the body should be in the game state. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Do we now have to write some go because Corey defined the rule set in the go file? Um, so that might be something that we actually do have to do, which um, is change the rule set. Where's the ru- no? Doesn't look like it captures other snakes. I I have no go. IDE, but I can certainly try. Rule snake moves. Sorry, I'm looking at the next board state elimination cause um, function now. So it just doesn't. I sorry, I missed what happened. So it just ran straight into a snake spot. Yeah, it just it just went boop straight into the first snake that. I mean, it's using random to pick a move. So obviously, uh, I mean, we we should totally um, we should totally like console.log. This, right? Yeah, and see, see if it thinks, yeah. see if, it, if it's actually getting the elimination. This could be a problem with this not evaluating to truthy or something, rather than anything else. So how okay. quickly we went from cool, it's all done and solved to uh, <laughs> Corey dropping ellipses in chat. Welcome, okay. welcome, yeah, welcome to my world. It's totally fine. So let's replay this. Uh, oh, actually, oh. we got an internal server error, which is interesting. I probably should have checked that. Go program is already exited. Oh, <laughs> heck. Interesting. Go program is already exited. So, if we start, if we have that problem. Um, oh, or... wasn't this wasn't this the ridiculous yes. thing where, like. Yes, yeah. um, we are absolutely not getting into this. I don't even understand the code that Corey has in there to make that happen. This is the block of code that's like get get the process and when it calls sig term um sleep for 500 milliseconds or something ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, we're getting it again. No. I thought are we o- I just Are we only getting it on this is this... the one few error it's dead thing. Lol. Lol. Oh, wait. What do you mean? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> What do you mean? Corey, what does that mean? <laughs> that is the least helpful comment. <laughs> that, like, it's just done or what? If I click, if I keep clicking replay, it'll just, like, fix itself, right? Do you mean we have to restart? Is there a better error above that one? Good question. Um, what's above that? Failed to complete tunnel connection. Okay. That's no, fine. that was... Yeah, that's a great thing now. I think that so, was because... Back to your back to PHP storm a minute. Do, 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 do. what's above that exit code two okay there we go um that one there 
panic! Don't panic! Don't panic, it's fine. Uh, main next board of them, and I guess the line under it is what we want. Next board state elimination cause. So, uh, next board state elimination cause. So the first one is this JS value. So that's already, that already looks problem. I don't, why have we got, why is it in oct octal? Why are our arguments in octal? Fine, we just like <laughs> stop the server and start it again. It, it, it fixes everything. Adding go, adding goes worked. I mean, I don't know if it, it worked last time. To be fair, but well, I think this is oh. a problem with. Did it error again? It did. Yeah. Um. So let's jump. Let's jump into the Go code and see if we can work it out, Gary. I actually think it's not too bad. Um. So <laughs> if you go to your project directory, um, wherever that is. Uh. So it's uh, the it's main dot go. And then the function that's going wrong is next board state elimination cause. That there we go. So we are getting a um, null pointer somewhere. That was what was happening, right? A null yeah. or a nil pointer. So and it was above this one. There we go. Okay. And above that one. A nil point of dereference. This is. Is, is right. it specifying, correct me if I'm wrong, that the errors are originating on line 67 of this file? Like right there in the bottom of the terminal right now. Or am I wrong? Uh, where are you seeing 67? Like colon 67. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. So next board state dot snake zero. That's getting our snake. So that should never be yeah. zero. There shouldn't be a reason why that array is ever zero, unless next board unless next board state is coming in wrong. But next board state, which the next board state is the first parameter to this function. Oh wait, yeah. no, sorry, hang on, it was defined right there. Scroll, scroll down a sec. Hmm. There you go. It's line sixty-five. Standard create next board state. So. If that's failing, then maybe it's not getting next board state, and so it's not getting our snakes. But why would creating... Is there any... Minimum food. Is there any reason why creating that board state would fail? Maybe print the game state in JSON. I wonder if the challenge body looks different than a standard game. Oh, we might not be the first snake in the array. I didn't think, I think that was ever the case. We always are the first snake in the array. But right? is ch are challenges set up differently? I, I don't think so, because I've worked okay. for all of these like really recently. Yeah. Because um, th this, is, this is one quirk of that Go, is that it's using yeah. the snake array. It's not using you. It's always using... Oh, but you can see it in there that we are the first snake in the array. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to log the stuff from Go. Can we log things from Go? Is that you can just throw it straight in the Go logging? You will have to rebuild the file though, but that's fine. Um, we definitely log somewhere in here. I thought anyway. Sorry, I'm fascinated now by how this is working, and I shouldn't have because I'm got I'm totally distracted by how. Oh, there we go. Working. Yeah, format dot print line. We do log within the go. Yes, yeah. so it's format dot print line, so you can just log straight in here. I'm completely like fascinated by how this is working and being distracted. So You're I good. guess we can log next board state. Yeah, yeah. So format dot print line. Uh, sorry, F fmt dot print line. Sorry format if it was a trendy startup yeah Printlin. uh Printlin, yeah 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 oh no i don't need that 
Uh, and I do um, not know if that is sufficient to print an object. <laughs> um, that's probably not a safe... Uh, yeah. Uh, Who knows? Okay. I mean... Upper I... P. Oh, upper P on print, print then. Thank you, Bcambi. Be can, be. can I get... Can I... Does, does this even give me gold? Um, gold completion? I yes. Think sense, right? This, this IDE... I feel like JetBrains sell many IDs. They're actually just the same yeah. ID. Yeah, because they all work for you know that you, I used to work for JetBrains, and let me just say oh, that you that. are completely, you are completely correct. <laughs> that essentially, right? If I look for, um, it's just got it's just plugins. So it's the same ID just with plugins. Yeah, it's just plugins. Yeah. So is there ev ever a reason you need to buy more than one JetBrains product? Well, yes. You should just buy IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and then you can install the plugins for everything. The the one thing you don't get that isn't... I'm, I'm, are, we okay, are you okay with talking about yeah. IntelliJ IDs? At this yeah, point? absolutely. Go for it. Um, yeah, yeah. The one thing you don't get is, for example, when um, when I when I open a project in PHP Storm and it's a WordPress project, right. PHP Storm will go, it looks like you're opening a WordPress project. Do you want me to auto-configure the ID for a WordPress project? That right, isn't okay. the plugin. That's part of the build of that Got you. version of IntelliJ. So the plugins won't give you that like convenience layer, but they'll yeah. give you everything else everything that else. you need essentially. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna upload. Chat saying so print that. print print the uh, the unnamed variable the underscore, which is defined on line sixty five as the second variable. Print that as well, so we can take a look in at what it is. Uh. That's just dropped. How do you print? Do we need to name it? I don't think so. Okay. Can I just do that? Um, we'll find out we'll, in a moment. Go we'll, we'll, we'll. Okay, so do I just need to recompile this using build.sh? I guess so. I guess. Yes, you do. So. Yeah, you do. I love how forgiving JavaScript is in this moment. I, I'm... Going to be really interested in whether that underscore Cannot use works. underscore as a value. Huh. Yes. So it like drops the value. Doesn't get, so you need to name that second uh, argument. Yeah. Instead we'll of just underscore. see what happens with this one first and then. Yeah, that makes sense. Do that next time. I was using running ngrok from here. That was. I can't believe I assumed that something in Go worked like how it did in Haskell and it actually did. Uh, chat's basically suggesting how we can make the most of the uh, the underscore. So change well, it by to naming it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but isn't that then going to break in other places? Yeah, I I uh, don't know why. I probably need to restart this. Right there we go. Okay, and then we should be able to replay this now. Request not remember found that's not gonna yeah no it's because i restarted ngrok because i restarted ngrok that request is gone so i need to like retry challenge here to just hit ngrok again wait into re oh hello. what 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 hello nil okay so we have established that the rule set is failing I thought We're the also whole point was the rule set was permanently, but you know, whatever. So, do we want to print this as an this now? Yeah. As well, was there a suggestion to do that? Have I? Uh, yeah, yeah. So just that, but the suggestion was that you check that um, error is not nil before you do it. So in front of that print, just stick um, if error does not equal nil, and there's no brackets and a go error. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much, Copilot Chats. And then boop. Boop. And then boop. That looks good to me. Chat needs to be bigger, or I need to put my glasses on. There's one of those <laughs> two things needs to happen. Or probably both. <laughs> if I could only find my glasses. There we go. Uh, Yes, that looks good to me. Okay, so now we stop the server, we rebuild. I had, there was a, me and Gary had a call today where I promised him he wouldn't have to write any go. <laughs> yeah, Made yeah, into a liar. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, I didn't expect anything different, to be honest, Joe. You know, it's fine. What just false promises from Joe? Yeah. yeah. Five gateway. That's a complete tunnel connection. This is name. Oh, I don't think I restarted the freaking actual JS server because you know I didn't. Oh, we didn't change Go. It wouldn't been looking at Go. It would have been looking at JS. <laughs> so we only so have nil. The, they're both nil at this point, right? Is that yeah? Is that yeah. a fair assumption? Because if it was nil, it would print it. Are we sure it's running the new code? Is the only thing we're not certain of. There. Okay, so let's just get rid of. Let's this just get rid. Yeah, let's just see if we and get two nils. Let's just see nil nil, which is yeah, totally fine. So I'm going to stop. This is where I would honestly now create a make file that stops the yeah the JavaScript server, recompiles using build.sh, and then restarts the JavaScript server because I've done it three times. So I'm like, I'm way too lazy to be doing this, but it's fine. We're having fun. Feels like a five minute detour, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, we still got nil, only one nil. Only one nil. One nil. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> why are we only getting one nil? Is this how the format works? So, if I'm assuming create next board state returns two things in an object or something, and we're yeah, it's returning two, and, and so you're and then yeah, you're signing you're both, kind of jamming them into two different variables, right? Yeah, yeah. How dare you! You you failed me, PHP Storm. <laughs> With this Go code, how dare you? Hmm. Uh, okay. Let me crack open. What's that function called? Create an export state. Change underscore uh, then if uh, not equals. Yeah, we did that last time, right? Hmm. Yeah, I completely agree with Corey in chat. Um, it are you are we sure this new code's running? Can we add like an arbitrary console yeah. log or sorry, that's JavaScript? Can we add a, a an arbitrary print line? I can just do a string. Assume yeah, just just so we that. can see that it's definitely running this code yeah does this does this need try go land it's saying to me why are you writing go in php storm the solution to this problem uh, is how to aggressive is that the, i hate that could you imagine being served ads in your code editor i'm okay with it i mean i'm subscribed I'm... to all the ids so double quotes yeah, if, if you have it and it's detecting it uh okay so yeah we're gonna we should now see hi chat if this is all running as expected, right? Correct. So I'm I'm actually looking at the code for create next board state now, and there isn't actually a way for it to return nil and not to return an error. <laughs> so it is returning yeah, yeah. hi chat. All right. Um, but now we don't see nil at all. We haven't got any nils at this point. Oh, okay. One nil. I want that. That's interesting. Are we? Why? Mm, does yes? Is that <laughs> says wait to where are the other logs? Yes, we know. We know. We know. We know. <laughs> oh, Gary's screen oh. is gone. Yeah, something, something bad has happened. Wait one. <laughs> I'll wait. tell you what happened is that I use my giant TV above my head as my th my third monitor, believe it or not, and that was where my OBS was sharing my screen to, and then my TV's like, you're not even watching anything, I'm going to turn myself off. <laughs> That's incredible. And so... It Corey, is you do not have to be sorry. This is a wonderful journey that we're this, going you on. I mean, if, if this makes any consolation to you, Corey, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, <laughs> this is out. even though I don't know much go, I'm honestly really enjoying trying to figure this out. So please don't be sorry. Uh, eh, and then we do this, and then we full, full screen projector. What I will be the output of this there. relay is that like there'll be a go wasm JavaScript starter snake, uh, probably more than anything else. 
This should work now because I'm sharing it from this. There we go. We got you. Yeah, got it. Is no, that ready to go? Let me know no, when you're ready for it to go back that's up. Not that's not the right cool. thing. What's the one with OBS in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the wrong thing. I was so good and prepared, and then obviously something bad happened. So uh, those you... plants on your shelf aren't real, are they, Kevin? Full screen projector. Hmm. That's better. We're good. Hmm. Thank They're you. Plastic. That's what I thought. Why? Because because unlike every other plant in my house that you've seen, these look I, well I, kept. Well, I the one on the left was lit up. I thought it had like a light on it, and so I was. Well, uh, no, there's a light. The, the, I'm sorry. The, the the other one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But same thing. There's a light all the way along. Well, that's why but I was wondering actually, if it was real. I thought you were like lighting the plants. Anyway, so, no, no, so. I'm lighting the shelves. <laughs> just okay. but the reason I have the plant is because just beyond what you can see in the frame, but sometimes when I'm a little, you know, wider, um, yeah. it's all the wires for this LED strip, and I basically use that plant to like obscure the wiring. I see. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, well, okay. So, a bunch of things. So. Okay, summary now, summary of like where we're at, just to replay all the things that happened there. Um, we're only getting one print line from Go, which is almost certainly something to do, and Corey, please agree, please let me know if you think this is correct. This is almost certainly something to do with the like calling the WASM from JavaScript lifecycle situation. Like there is something weird going on with like when things are called and when when javascript is getting the return um hugh said why would there be a go wasm start a snake rather than just a go start a snake because the language is irrelevant hugh what's exciting here is that um there is this rules library in go which is a really great utility for battlesnakes developers but previously you know you have to use it from go or call into go in some way and so like this is just JavaScript developers can now use that utility, which is really cool. Um, does, oh, does yeah, Matt has a great idea. Does write into the console, um, like, pr print line, does that, like, cause the... Uh, I'm trying to use my words, but I don't know what this really is. But does it cause we'll get them. the WASM to, like, exit with a one state or something? Is this... Yeah, that's actually, almost certainly is, like what's is this happening. It's breaking the communication between Go and JavaScript by like printing something unexpected. That's actually console. a very good point. Does does this actually stop? Do we still get a move returning from this? No, it just hangs. It just that's completely breaks it. If you look, like it just literally times out. This. Oh well, that's it's really been awful. for six minutes. Okay. So, so we need to make sure that we remove there. this. Yeah. <laughs> So what I'm going to do just now is I'm just going to check if there's an error returned because I don't think it ever got this far previously. So we mm. wouldn't know if there was an error returned or not. So that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to take charge, pretend I know what I'm doing and speak forcefully. Forceful confidence. With confidence, yes. This whole replay thing in Engrok is a complete game changer. Move not provided for snake. Okay, so we do have an error, and that error is a move is not provided for the snake. Wow. So now what I want to do is I want to print. Can we print to? Can we print to a log file? Can we log instead of print? Will that not break the JavaScript? Maybe. Can we hack around this by printing everything in a single line, comma separated? Yeah, okay. that's what Matt said. Yeah. Ah, we have to provide a move for each snake, I bet. Good shout, Corey. Yeah. Oh, when there are four snakes on the board. When there's four snakes on the board, we have to... Do we, though? We we can't just check if that... We're not going to bump into the body of another snake. We have to at least pretend we know where the, the snake is going to go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna like really do some really dodgy code here because I love it. This is Pick a random move there. for each other snake, says Corey. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say just just assume every other snake effect. is gonna go up. If it's not passed in, default it to up. What is the moves array? The moves array has got 
like we pass that in from JavaScript, right? Yes. No. Rules that's uh, I think that's true. The rules that will error out if there are missing moves for for snakes. That tracks. Okay. Well, in that case, in JavaScript, let's just generate a random direction. Yeah, but I don't think this is. We're not passing it in from the JavaScript. This is to do with how the Go is working. The move comes. It gets passed. But I think we already are passing in a move from JavaScript, right? No, it, get, it gets passed in here. Look, it's an array, line 32. So and we're always just passing first... a move from the JavaScript, from what I can see. Yes, yeah, yeah. But if we need to pass one in for each snake, there'll need to be, say there's four snakes, there'll need to be four objects in this array. Yeah, yeah, exactly as Matt says in the chat. It needs a move for each so, snake in this array. Okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, got so you. we'll Thank figure you. out how many snakes. So we'll figure out how many snakes there are, and then we'll create our move, and then so that all but one additionals. So that thing we spoke about before the show, where you can it it. Sorry, I was dealing with a, a Slack thing. So, if there are more snakes, it needs a move for all of them. There's no option Correct. for it to guess. Got it. Correct. Okay. So how would you pass those in? Would you pass them in as an extra? Um, no, no, no. See, see there's an array there. on line 32, the square brackets, and then there's yeah. an yeah. object inside of Another that. Another object so inside the, that. Everything, from, yeah. everything between the squiggly bracket, every, the squiggly brackets, copy and paste that, comma, separate them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that has an ID and then we, the move as but well. But these would actually have to be the IDs of the real snakes from the actual... So, so, yes. we, can work, so we can work that out beforehand. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So before we get into this... Yeah, we don't or even before we get into really. this loop, because, yeah. yeah, exactly. How many snakes are there is what, uh, minus one, minus us. Okay, okay. I'm, oh, yeah, but we don't so games... have... No, we don't need to do that, right? We can do... We can pass in, because the game stead gives us an array of snakes. We just need to append to that object a move. Yes, uh, that, that, that array. Uh, and the first no, I, that array, I think, should be us, I don't so think we, just... we should be. I don't think we should be passing in extra properties. Let's just pass in so we know they all look the same. An ID and a move. And the way I would do this is if you if you call this um, like other snake moves, we'll go gay uh, dot snakes, and then all we want to grab out of that is an ID. So. Or you can actually just use a map for this. So if you go dot map, uh, snake, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, snake. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to remember my JavaScript notation. This is it. This is it. You don't even need the squiggly brackets if you just want. Uh, if you if you just want the single value, you can just type in the value. So snake dot id. I'm assuming. Great, and now snakes on board is an array of every snake on the board, just the IDs. But it does include us, so we'll probably just want to nip out the first one first. Can we? Can we like return the object that looks like this from here? Yes, absolutely. Or am I going you will need one step too far. No, 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 absolutely. Um, probably the most succinct way is around snake ID. Put round brackets and then squiggly brackets, and that'll just take us straight into the return value. Yeah, exactly. And on the others, yeah. Yeah. And a okay. squiggly and a round. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to think. So this is going to give us all of the um, all of the snakes, but we don't we want to take out ourselves, right? Or or let's do, update that correct. so that ourselves is not is the actual move that we want to do. Correct. Uh, or just don't, don't like, or just add ours on afterwards uh, on line 36. But in this game state dot snakes, the first. Yeah, we will, it, will pass be out us. first. Yeah. So how would you, Let me, how uh, would you remind myself? Uh, you do that okay. with, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Matt's got it right. Dot slice one. Okay. Slice one. Yeah. 
So is it just so like... game state? Uh, no, no. So you can do it online. Twenty nine game state dot snakes dot slice round brackets one, and that will be the whole array minus that first one, correct? And then map those. And then map it. Awesome. So that's every other snake, not us. And then we just need to put this. Yeah, on comma, to, and then the... so after these squiggly brackets, uh, oh, after yeah, the squi you... close squiggly bracket, you can just uh, do a spread operator. So comma, dot, 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 snakes on board. I forget you could do that in JavaScript. That's really cool. Then that that okay, should I'll... be us. I think. There's probably, there might be a syntax error in there, but I, I think. I, I, think I, know, okay. I think I understand what's happening here. We're, we're, we're essentially throwing away the first item on the array and then mapping over the rest of them, right? to get the IDs and saying, let's just pretend all of these snakes are going to move up because we don't really care. We just want to like sure. flag this so that we'll stop colliding with other snakes. And then we're passing that in. Okay. So this does not need a recompile of go. I don't think we haven't touched the go. Have we? Not we for need this to make one. sure there's no like console.logs essentially printlands in here because that will break everything so we probably do need to re uh rebuild the go because we oh uh declared or not used okay we need to change that back to be an underscore when what line was i on i i'm lost i'm so lost up here right yeah uh, right there 65 yeah perfect so ideal and then we start the server and then we rerun this and see if everything works. PHP Storm has code with me. I'm, I, oh, I'm okay with that. I think this is an actual, cannot read property of undefined. That is a JavaScript error though, in my mind. Read and slice. Okay, we've got a JavaScript error, we're okay. We can work with that. So snakes is the correct. Let's just dump game. Let's just, if in doubt, dump game state, right? So we can see what it looks like. Oh no, we've got freaking node mod. I didn't need to do that, but whatever. It's fine. I, I think it's a dot slice one is incorrect here, by the way. I just. It's board, isn't it? Then dot snakes, I think, if I remember. I think it's I think it's splice. I, I Gary, I think it well, might this... be splice and not slice. Sorry, I'm um also yeah. it's game state dot board dot no. snakes, right? Dot snakes, yeah. It is. Game state dot board dot snakes, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. think it, ignore me? I think no, no, it, it's like no, 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 no. I yeah. should have known that. Your monkey oh, yeah, with, so. with this freaking data structure over the last couple of weeks. I should have actually <laughs> Gary, honestly, that. every single every stream, me and, Ke me and Kevin have been doing this for like a year now, and every single stream, we get to the game state object and have to pull up the example from the docs. Do not worry. <laughs> it's like regular expressions. It is syntax designed to leave your head. Cannot read properties of undefined. Now, board does have snakes, and that is a list of snakes, right? I'm fairly sure. Yes. So I wouldn't expect this to be undefined at this point. Let's check the... At Logic.js 3244. Exactly oh, where did, did you restart the server? Uh, I, I've got an old I'm, I'm pretty sure. Running. I've got... Are I've you got sure? No running, so it should be fine. Like if I. People in chat are saying that if your load mom is working. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, did you hit the play button? Yes. The play button's still configured to start, isn't it? So it didn't restart. Oh, good. Very good point. Thank you. Uh, the, the, chat, the chat caught it, not me. <laughs> As is always the case. Thank you. It should be dev, but that doesn't exist here for some reason. Why? Okay, let's just not use PHP Storm's server and just use the terminal. Yes, I think Stop. that might be best. Yes. Stop trying to be clever. Uh, and then it's what? NPM run dev? Or can I just put dev? Uh, run dev. Yeah, it's okay. 
okay it's been so long you forget like the fundamentals of things it's really really frustrating there we go oh that's pretty Thank cool you, that says if you open package json you can hit a play button next to dev doesn't have to come from that top uh nav okay the properties argument must be an instance of array receive type string snake collision okay Move line forty three seventeen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get rid of that console table. It, we we've never used it once. It clearly is requiring it an array. That's funny. Okay, let's try again. Thanks. Oh, we've got a two hundred. Okay, I don't know. Why? Because we didn't do anything, did we? Okay. Well, no, we did, didn't we? We changed the format of the parameters that we were passing to go so that we were actually passing the extra snakes in. Yeah, uh, there are as many snakes being passed as there are in the in the game board now. In the game, which is great. So we did change something. So if we go back to the challenge, hopefully, we will pass the challenge now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we started so well. I mean, it went on for a lot longer and it avoided many body parts in that time. It was, what I'm surprised here is that it wasn't, I thought we were gonna see, oh yeah, we, we don't have a output here. Oh, that's end, sorry, excuse that's me. End. No, we did say right. I was expecting to see like a 500 area that, the reason we we went that direction was no not so because... hmm so what do we now we can go back to our original debugging methodology which is looking at what the def thing is saying oh no just so we got rid of that so we're just looking at right so yeah it just thinks that right is safe can we so, go back so to printing we, what the the collision situation we definitely should we definitely should uh we should uh, also def yeah we should also at this point not be doing randomness here we should just oh pick... oh oh yeah no corey's got it so go back to that game if you've still got it open i do so you're we're sending up as a move all the time oh so that so... snake would have died so the body so wouldn't right have been there valid move corey you're a genius yeah awesome i understand okay and now this now the now using the rules engine gets silly because now do we actually need to check whether the snakes we're checking would die? <laughs> so now we need to like we need to go back to that code where we do that and we need to say check get give oh no because we need to move for all the snakes. How do people use this library normally? How is this normally solved? I mean, this was a lot easier because we need to check if they would die and to check if they would die we need a full set of moves to give all the snakes oh yeah yeah <laughs> we need to research it yes we do yes we do uh, i mean luckily for me that's the next guest's problem by the way the time is fast running out that i you know but yes it is yeah it. but we we've made we've made progress no, so I, I, i'd like to see Is there, is, there, is there an easy and elegant way for us just to quickly check? There is, well, basically what's happened here is we've removed all of the manual wall checking logic from our snake, and now we're going to do it to other snakes to pick our moves for those snakes. Um, yeah, because if, if this snake goes up, it's dead. And you can't just change it to any other move because it will kill one of the snakes on there. If this snake goes up, then the next turn it's dead. Therefore, right is actually a valid move. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I don't and have I... a hack either, Corey. Don't be sorry. This is this is fun. So this is a it. hilarious consequence of this library. <laughs> let me have a look in. Let me have a quick look inside the rules thing, and see if there is another. 
function that might work. Mm -hmm. This is such a ridiculous problem. This is, is a fantastic problem. I'm it really is, excited yeah. about this. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm okay with it. In the meantime, I'm tempted to remove the randomness. Yeah, I mean, yeah, crack on with that. If if there's no... Um, can I, like, pop the first item off a list of objects? When you say pop, oh. what are you trying to achieve? So well, I in can... PHP, I would do safe move start splice. No. So you just, you just want the first one in the in the object? Yeah. That might work. What do we think? I don't think so, because it's a <laughs> okay. Because properties properties in an object are not do not are not altered. Oh, okay. So how are we doing it before? Let's take a look. Oh, they're not ordered. Oh, they're not. Okay, so yeah, in PHP. Well, right? no, no. Hang on. Safe moves. Oh, yeah, no, no. Go down. It's the line above where they get turned into an array. No, no. Go down to where we're calling them. Like just now, where we were picking, where we were picking one at random, the line above, yeah, the line right. above that yeah. is yeah, we're turning that object turning into, into a... yeah, into an array. Yeah, so then you can just do it. You just do it in response instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That may work, right? Have a uh, Let's, see. Let's try it and see. Doesn't JavaScript shift? I mean, it's still gonna die when it. Um, hits a snake that would die from going up, right? That so exactly what exactly what um, what Corey said would, is is happened again there, right? At this point, snake this snake would is going to go up and die. Yeah, goes up. But at least yep. we have no randomness now to be throwing us off. We've got predictable. Yeah, snakey snakey boy. God, that's such a funny. How like. Uh, so it's going to happen. Um... I want... No, that's, that's not going to work. I'm out of ideas. Okay, I have I have a stupid solution. Yes. Let's so, do this. it's very specific to this challenge, but... So we need to generate a safe move for the other snakes in the challenge, right? But the problem with doing that is we need to move for all the snakes to generate the same safe move. But only if the game state has more than one snake in it. So for each snake on the board, we strip, we, we take the game state minus all the other snakes and generate a move using that object. And then we only need to pass in a move for that snake. So for the snake on the top right, we first of all run next board state elimination cause with a modified game state that only has the one snake in it. And then we get the safe move and then we put that in. Does that make sense? It, it, it makes yeah, instead of passing in the whole game state as it comes immediately. Yeah, yeah. we would change the game state a bit. So essentially what we want to do is this this yeah that but we have to modify the game state <laughs> and we've got to, we've got nine minutes so do we want to leave a comment here and say that's what we're gonna do <laughs> and then uh, naomi's problem uh, next time <coughs> do, why i don't understand is it why we need to was... modify the board state oh it is naomi's next time um so the reason so the problem here is that we need to choose a safe move for the other snakes but the choose a safe yeah. move for those snakes we need to we need to give a move to every snake we we don't have to give a move for every snake if there's only one snake in the game state so we edit the game state to remove the snakes that we don't want to simulate so then we only have to give a move for the current snake so for those snakes that are in the challenge we don't care what the other snakes are doing when we simulate so them that that will work in this challenge because the It'll snakes work in this just challenge. circle yeah. but if the snakes could possibly crash into each other then that exactly would be yes yeah the line. that's why i said but that this was instance, a yeah this instance it works 
yeah just to fix and i challenge. generally i think it is more reliable because Do you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. undo this so that i'm leaving it in a state where it compiles that makes sense. Yeah. it compiles but is broken um before committing rather than trying i'll never have time to implement this and i do have a hard stop no, no. At half that, that's to so. that's totally fine yes yeah, so this, this is throwing a comment here for naomi <laughs> Really, you need to simulate every permutation of all moves for all snakes. I, I think that that might be the right answer at this point. <laughs> like, I genuinely feel like if, if we're going to go all in on the wasm, then... Yeah, it's going to end up a tree in, snake. It's absolutely certain now. Let's go all in on the yeah. wasm and yeah. just simulate yeah. every permutation of all moves for all snakes. We, we are, we are going to have a Monte Carlo tree snake by the end of the, the series. It's 100% going to happen. And I don't know whether it's like sensible to just start implementing that on the next i mean we leave that up to the next guest obviously but i feel like at this point i just think that because because i'm not precious about it like 18 nested loops here would solve my problems but you know yeah yeah cool all right let's wrap up so you can end on time um it doesn't work because this doesn't work would have been right to do it God, that was what a journey we've been on today. I think we've learned more about how the rules engine works. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, trial by fire. Yeah, and also we learned. Oh, actually, that is another good point. Um, we need to make a note. Uh, once Gary's done with this, I'll ask him to crack open the readme as well. We should make a note about that print line thing. This doesn't work. This doesn't work because it selects. And move correctly if a snake would die if a yes that's yeah uh because sex move correctly a shit because it simulates the snake dying moving up yeah 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 yes that makes sense that makes sense look at this gary leaving like clues for the next guest this is so our, re our relay runners being kind to each other we've had a wonderful readme documentation written by Corey R and mason and matt and now we're getting comments about what's broken and where God, I've fun. um gary can i ask you to make one additional addition to the readme which is in the go section under Corey Yars, uh, uh, in the so right yeah, under Corey yeah. Yars bit at the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to change it from. Oh, like, cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, it'll be right at the bottom. To join the show, blah blah. Yeah. There it is, Corey. Yeah. Yep. Um, just make a note at the bottom under the codes under the code block. Um, that uh print line crashes the go. <laughs> Uh. Ah, that's fine that's fine that'll do perfect yeah. all righty i'm gonna throw your screen down gary so we can say farewell thank you so much for joining us anything you'd like that to say really before fun. we let you go um no you told me <laughs> this was gonna be easy and do you know what i found um elden ring easier than this so <laughs> Ooh, okay um when are you next going live on gh live is that the correct um, handle tomorrow morning uk time but i won't be doing battle snake stuff i will be doing totally uh, php and webhooks and twilio stuff but it, it'll be fun you know yeah. it's all good lovely awesome well uh, and your handle was gh live right that's it yeah gwh live there you go Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Gary. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to drop you after that. Bye. See you, see you. All righty. Thank you so much, Gary. That was a lot of fun. Um, I actually think we made... We have logic in the snake, right? And it was... We're using the previous snake's contributions. Um, the previous author's contributions, sorry. We found some problems with the... Well, we did find problems with the Go. We found some problems with the way we were using the Go. We learned how the rules library worked. Um, we found out about the form format line thing. That was awesome. Thank you, chat, as yeah. ever. Um, the true co-pilots. We Wonderful <laughs> debugging from the chat. Um, 
Matt, as ever, uh, coming in with the syntax checking, um, and Corey being tech support for his former contributions. <laughs> Truly wonderful. Before Only we wrap up... That. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, the whole like concept of the relay was like, you make a mess, other people clean it up, and Corey's like, no, I'll stick around. <laughs> really appreciate it. Um, Spring League, still happening. Happening until March 27th. Still time for you to register. Um, we've been doing the uh, Snake Pit live um, European North American conferences. Uh, we've now got the full qualifiers for that. Um, the snakes in that are looking fantastic. Um, the Caster Cup, that's the name of that. Um, there we go, loading. Um, so we have the 16 snakes that we're taking part in that competition. That is happening uh, next weekend, I believe. No, weekend after, March 17th, a time soon. The date will be on this website somewhere. Um, where is it? The March 12th, March 12th is happening. Uh, March 12th is when it's happening and it will be amazing because these snakes were really good. The games, the games are honestly fantastic, folks. Like if you haven't, go back and watch that Twitch, the Twitch VOD from the uh, European Cup, uh, the European conference at least. Um, there was uh, a series of games that just had us screaming for a long time. Um, so the finals are going to be fantastic. So March 12th for that. And then Spring League, still time to sign up and you still got time to get up in the leaderboard. So other than that, we will be back in two weeks time with Naomi. Um, we will get the state of the code I'm on the wrong keyboard. Um, we will get the state of the code updated on the GitHub repo before that, so you can check out where we're at. And finally, um, <laughs> Gary's in chat saying send help. Um, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Anything you would like to say yeah. before we wrap? Yeah, hopefully I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Might have a new baby, so maybe not. We'll see. Woo. Um, awesome. Cool. Farewell, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye. <laughs>